Pablo Picasso did not paint the Chis Chistine Staple overnight. <laughs> the what? What? <laughs> the Chistine Staple. Wow, you're cut off. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking in Quarantine with yours truly, Johnny Bananas. This episode is very special to me. It is a bone-in ribeye steak, 36 ounces. If I was to pick this steak up and throw it at Ricky, who's behind the camera right now, it would be like getting run over by the bulls in Pamplona, Spain. The thing literally is practically mooing. Since we're doing a red meat, you gotta go with red wine. I'm a Pinot Noir guy. This is a Albert Bichot. Bichot? Do we speak, does anyone here speak French? B-I-C-H-O-T, or is it Bichot? We'll call him Bichot. Mmm. Albert, you are the man. The star of tonight's show. You don't wanna ruin a good cut of meat. When you have something this incredible, all we're doing is salt and pepper. You also wanna make, the f man. It's also very important, especially with the cut of meat this thick, you wanna bring this to room temperature before you go to fry. You don't wanna put cold meat in a hot pan. As I said before, it's a wine reduction sauce, so you need another bottle of wine. We went with uh, 19 crimes here. It's a crime to waste alcohol, so we're not gonna do that tonight because we're gonna be consuming it all. Very important part of the sauce that we're making, you need a veal demi-glaze. It's a fancy way of saying it's a veal gravy. It thickens it up, makes it really yummy, brings out a lot of flavor. We're doing lots of butter tonight. Call your cardiologist, let him know that you're probably gonna be visiting him within the next few days. We love our time, two bunches of time about this size. We've got our shallots here, all right? And you wanna leave them as intact as you can. So basically, we're just gonna cut the shallot down the middle, remove this outer layer of skin. So we just wanna leave it exactly like that. Now for the kale, which we're gonna do as our yummy side, you want your kale to be spineless, like Wes Bergman. You wanna peel down kind of each side like that, pull it out like that. And last but not least, these knives are extra special to me because they were sent to me by a very special friend. Uh, that is Chef Ann Burrell from Worst Cooks in America. Thank you, I love you. You know they say the fastest way to a woman's heart is a diamond? Fastest way to my heart is a set of very sharp knives. So we're ready to get cooking. Morgan stubbed her toe, so uh, we're soaking her foot right now in Epsom salts. And then for added seasoning, we're gonna do the kale in Morgan's foot water. You're embarrassing me. Show us your foot, Morgan. So we're gonna go generous olive oil, people. All right. We want a thunderous round of applause when this thing hits the pan. I know I said last time that I would want a data frittata, but Morgan, if things don't work out between the two of us, instead of a 26-year-old ex-cheerleader, I'm gonna be dating a 36 ounce ribeye. And the applause continues. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Now we're going for medium rare on this. We're gonna pop our shallots in there, cook it for a little bit longer. We're gonna remove the shallots and the steak, remove the oil, then we're gonna replace the oil with butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shallots off, we're gonna pop them over here. That looks really good. Stop looking at it like that. I want to eat it. <laughs> and I would like you to hurry this process up so we can eat it. Pablo Picasso did not paint the Chis Chistine Staple overnight. <laughs> the what? what? <laughs> the Chistine Staple. Wow, you're cut off. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm just getting started. Enough <laughs> around, people. Lots of butter, people. So now we're gonna pop our shallots back in. I'm gonna add my next favorite ingredient, which is thyme. Get a little bit of butter on there. We're gonna put the thyme on top of the steak and now we're gonna baste the thyme and the steak in butter. We're gonna remove the steak again from the heat. It's like thunder, lightning. The way I love you is frightening. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna pop this bad boy in the oven for 15 minutes. Ugh! 
I had a heart attack just smelling it. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start making our wine reduction Berouge sauce. A little wine while we're at it. So we put the whole shallots in with the steak and then we cut these shallots into rings and we're also going to saute our thyme in there. Some for you, some for me. Now we're literally going like two thirds of a bottle of wine here. We're basically simmering off all the alcohol and what's gonna be left is the essence of that red wine. So now we're adding the demi-glaze and this is just gonna make it taste phenomenal. You don't wanna let the booze go to waste, okay? So we gotta, we gotta inhale as many of these alcoholic fumes as possible. This entire bottle of wine has been reduced down to literally this. We're gonna start on our kale. Do not be afraid of olive oil. If you're gonna be afraid of all of anything, be afraid of Olive Garden, because that is what we call in the Italian community, Metagon. Metagon means fake as f Morgan, is it okay if we use your foot water for the kale? I'm gonna punch you in the face again. <laughs> We're not actually cooking our kale in foot water, but we're gonna tell Morgan we are. Yeah, foot water! <laughs> Once you got it coated in oil, I'm gonna add our garlic. Now we're gonna flash steam this. It's half a cup of water and about three tablespoons of soy sauce. The key to cooking is to be able to manage multiple things at the same time. Juggle a lot of plates. It's kind of like juggling, you know, multiple Morgan, your food's done. Without further ado, the star of our show. One more degree, please give me one more degree. One more degree! There it is. There we are, nope, wrong, this, wrong way. When I tell you I want you at 132, okay? I want you at 132. 131 doesn't cut it. 135 doesn't cut it. I got half a glass of wine and you finished the other two bottles. No, there's a whole bottle in here. And Ricky drank at least three quarters of the other bottle. So I don't know, I don't know how he's holding this camera still. I don't know how Ricky's holding this camera so still because he's had at least- So where's my wine? Follow my, follow my finger. You can't even do that. Oh my God. Yes, I can. Come on, man. We're doing stuff here. Take these guys off. Time, you know what? We have no time for you anymore. You can f off, but look at that. We've got our feather here, all right? Also known as the chef snack or the cap. This is actually my favorite part of the entire steak here. Gonna cut the bone off and that's where all of our flavor came from. And now this is, this is the money spot right here. Exactly. See the best thing I've ever tasted? Ever. Ever? Ever. <laughs> How good is that? How good is that? You just got weak in the knees. You almost collapsed just now. And now for the piece de resistance. I just need a moment. I've never felt this way about anyone before. You complete me. Thanks for stopping by. We will see you again on the next episode of Cooking in Quarantine with Johnny Bananas. Live, love, go bananas. I found true love in the most unlikely of places. In my kitchen? Tell you what, after tonight's meal, you're gonna find love in my kitchen too.